My name is Abraham Ohinijan. I am the CEO of Ohini Media um, Fiesta, Fiesta GH, um, OM Music, and a few other companies that, um, <laughs> uh, well, I'm sure people will find out about them in, in due course. Um, in my profession, or shall I say, I mean, I always try to tell young people, I'm not a big believer in uh, in limitations. I, I don't believe in a glass ceiling. What I mean by glass ceiling is where you see others at some stage that you will never, you, or you think you will never get to. You know, you you kind of exist below a sheet of glass you see people upstairs but you don't think you'll ever get there I'm not a big believer in that um, I think as a young person you should um, you should always reach for uh, reach for the skies, honestly, because um, it's possible. You can do anything. The only difference between you and the next person is how you use your brain. Um, the the most successful people in the world that you come across tend to be people who know the most about the environment that they live in. And what I mean, that doesn't mean that you know knowing the streets around your neighborhood, but I mean, you know, scientists know more about the environment. The most advanced societies in the world are the ones that know the most about this earth. And bringing it down to you, the individual, the ones that know how to set up businesses that can provide a service to the society and be profitable, obviously know more about their society than those who are not able to decipher that. But anyway, like I said, I'm not really a... Um, a big believer in that. So I'm one of these people that tends to, um, when I, I set my goal or I look at things, I get there and then I look at the next thing and the next thing and the next thing. I don't really look back and I don't allow failure to be an obstacle. Failure is necessary. It's part of life. You must fail. Um, the worst thing to do is to think that you are done, you are at the optimum performance level. Nobody ever is. Not the most advanced <laughs> people in the world can tell you, they are, tell you they are done and not the smartest person. Einstein never thought he was done. He was still working on things, theories and working out stuff, you know, until his death. No one ever and my advice really is that you never stop learning so you you don't really stop trying you never stop trying you put an attainable goal in front of you what i mean by attainable you know there's this saying a journey of a thousand miles begins with one step an attainable goal is that one step and the next one after that and the next one after that um so rather than trying you know i mean if you like every time that first attainable goal is a failure is a failure is a failure don't see it as a negative it should be something that should help you move on to the next step if you try it once and it doesn't work try it again because you know there's a next step in front of you never think that once you've attained that is done um i would Typically, what I, um, I'll, I, let's, let me align it to something that I do, or an example of um, an example in my industry. Um, I started production when I was about 17 years old, and the first things that I did, when I look back at it now, I cringe. It's like, ah, I can't believe I shot this stuff. And I'm sure in about 10 years time when I look back at stuff I've shot now, I will feel the same about it, you know, about what I'm shooting now. And I might think, oh, what I'm shooting now is great because it's way better than what I shot before. This is because of the process, trying over and over again to achieve something. When I first came to this country, I realized that there was a gap. Um, you know, youth entertainment was something that just didn't exist. The idea of 
you know, video production and all of these things were something preserved for a certain elite. Certain only certain individuals came on TV. Young people were kept, you know, at a certain distance. Um, I had the opportunity to come here, and I was exposed to this technology and I had the privilege to share this knowledge with other young people and created um, a culture if you like um, from Smash TV to creating the first kind of hip life videos and actually came or oh, I was with a team of or groups of people that were trying to introduce a new musical style now the first set of videos that we shot were if you like trying to produce something um, that I, I was used to, you know, where I grew up. And we, we tried with the resources that we had. But obviously it's never, you know, I mean it's never up there. You can't say, oh, well, I've done it, it looks great, and that's it. No. And from there, you know, the next production, the next production, the next production. Um, you try and get better and better and better at it obviously depending on the equipment that's available to you and the sort of resources that's available to you but what I mean is that when I first came here we used to shoot everything on beta cam and then it finally graduated on to DV cams you know digital formats which didn't have those problems beta cam was analog then you know after shooting stuff I wanted to try even though I'd done you know work that other people looked at and said, oh wow, this is brilliant. I never thought I was finished. So I shot, I moved on to film, and I shot the first couple of music videos on celluloid in Ghana, and it, you know, it was something that was disappearing in this country. The last things that were shot on film were shot back in the 60s, late 60s and early 70s. Um, and we shot, we shot videos of Reggie Rexoma on film, and it succeeded, you know, I mean, these were moving, if you like, the art of video making further and further and further um, to the stage where right now, I think that, and I'm not by any means saying that Ghana, we are there yet in terms of producing music videos and this, that and the other. Technology has gotten us there um, in terms of picture quality and sometimes even the creativity. But we are at a stage where our videos compete on a global stage which is something that should have been expected and something that you know we should we've worked at and i believe we continue to to work at as our artists not only um become popular in ghana and not just in africa but on a global stage you know europe america everywhere and so the visuals that accompany it have had to grow in the same way. So now we have videos um, from Ghana, directed by Ghanaian directors, um, shot by Ghanaian DPs, you know, produced by Ghanaians, which are being played on an international stage. And this is as a result of constant trying to improve what we have been doing in production in this country. This has affected everything from commercial video and documentary filmmaking to production of commercials to production of music videos. So when you see material going on out there, I mean, uh, right now you look at graphics, you look at photography, you look at film, you look at music, you, even, you look at fashion in Ghana. This has been a constant trial from trying of people trying to get better and better and better and better at things and we're by no means done so as a young person I mean this is this, my advice to you is to keep trying whatever it is that you think you've created don't get above yourself don't get you know don't think that's it you're done somebody else is gonna come in and do better pick videos they're gonna do you know take better photographs they're going to write better books they're going to make better films so you constantly have to get, and it, it has to happen because if I hadn't done what I'd done there wouldn't be other directors having to do better stuff so it is a natural process it's something that needs to happen kids will come along who are exposed to the best that you could do the best that we could do now and they'll look at that and they'll build on that because if we don't create that space for young people to be able to build on top then there's no point it will be regressive and nothing 
and you know nothing would develop um, if you look at our arts now it's burgeoning with creativity right across board and that is as a result of people trying over and over and over and over again to get better